My name is Angus Trumbull. I'm director of the National Portrait Gallery. In March, we celebrate the 20th anniversary of the establishment of the, of the uh, National Portrait Gallery. The idea of a National Portrait Gallery has been around since before uh, the First World War, and it's been revisited regularly. But it wasn't until the late 1980s that the idea took hold, and our founding patrons, Gordon and Marilyn Darling, organised an exhibition that toured throughout the country to raise awareness of the idea of establishing a National Portrait Gallery. And it was the warmth with which that exhibition was received that led to our establishment here in 1998. This building was conceived very soon after the establishment of the National Portrait Gallery and opened 10 years ago in 2008. The beauty of a National Portrait Gallery uh, and its particular mission is that it tells the story of Australian life and history through portraits of remarkable people. And it's the superb clarity of that idea and the way in which pictures carry with them any number of corresponding stories that together weave the fabric of the national story. That is the basic idea that holds such appeal and explains why this institution enjoys such public affection. One of the decisions that was taken in the very beginning was that we would collect portraits in all media, paintings, sculpture, photography, works on paper, and increasingly moving image, digital, and new media. So it's a very lively collection, but its purpose is to test the boundaries of what a portrait can be and what a portrait does. This institution holds up a mirror to the Australian community and fulfills a national remit, which we're very aware of. In collecting portraits of notable people, we try as hard as possible to represent every corner of the country. As broad as possible, an array of areas of distinction. We define distinction as broadly as possible. We try, therefore, to give this institution a very strong Australian accent. In 1998, we owned precisely no works of art. Now the collection consists of upwards of 2,600 portraits which have been gathered steadily by gift and purchase thanks to the generosity of many donors and without the support of the Commonwealth we wouldn't be able to be open and free of charge to all Australians.